Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. My name is Blaze Redemption and today what I have for you guys is going to be another brand new video. In today's video guys, we're pretty much going to be wrapping up our best tips and tricks series for Call of Duty Cold War. So if you guys have actually been enjoying the series and haven't already, do be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below as well as leave a fat like on today's video which definitely does help out the channel a lot. If you guys do want to stay updated with future videos comment feel free to go ahead and turn on those post notifications so you guys will not miss out on any more videos coming in the future but without further ado hope you guys do enjoy today's video and i'll see you guys there peace all right so guys welcome back to another video in today's video guys i'm going to be giving you some of the best settings you guys can actually use for controller settings on call of duty cold war Jumping straight off into today's video, the horizontal stick sensitivity as well as the vertical stick sensitivity I have set to 8 high. Um, reason why I like to run this sensitivity because I feel like it's best for all different types of weapon classes. It's not too slow for snipers, it's not too fast for submachine guns and assault rifles, and it just works perfectly fine which allows me to be able to turn around fast if enemies are shooting me in my back. It allows me to move fast and turn fast if I'm sliding and things of nature right there, so do go ahead and try that out. If you guys are a lower skilled player, I recommend running on a 6 sensitivity so you guys won't will be able to control the sensitivity a little bit easier. As you guys know, the A sensitivity is one of the higher sensitivities in the game, so do go ahead and actually try out the 6 or 7-6 six sensitivity. By that, I mean 7-6 here and uh, see if that actually helps you guys for improving your accuracy. So moving on, um, my stick sensitivity, uh, my ADS stick sensitivity as well as my ADS stick sensitivity zoom um, high and low I have it set to 1.0 um, this is pretty much the standard you know moving at a regular uh, a regular steady pace um, this pretty much allows me to move my weapon um, a, a little bit faster while I'm aimed down sights if you guys find yourself missing shots or find it a little bit harder for you guys to actually track enemies while you're shooting then go ahead and try to turn this down to at least a point eighty or a point oh you can't even turn it to point seventy five in this game interesting alright so at least try putting it on point seventy or point eighty which will definitely help you guys with improving your accuracy um, I do play on a scuff controller so my settings for button layout is going to be on default because all of my back paddles are pretty much my face buttons so I don't actually have to take my thumb off the analog whenever I'm you know trying to press a jump or slide or reload or switch weapons or something like that so yeah but moving on um, I do run my buttons to flip I have that set on flip because I've been playing Call of Duty literally since Modern Warfare 2 and if you guys play PlayStation then you know that you have to shoot with the bumpers and not the triggers which honestly I feel like shooting with the bumpers makes it 10 times easier for getting faster paced kills because with the trigger if you guys don't have a controller like me you literally have to press the trigger all the way down before being able to shoot and with the bumper it's literally just the tap of a button as if you're trying to reload or jump so moving on um, I don't invert my vertical look I mean honestly just leave that alone keep it disabled my aim response curve is going to be set to, to dynamic I find this to be the best for actually um you know aiming down it the dynamic reverse reverses the s curve mapping for fine aiming rate control faster initial response that smooths out with higher stick deflection honestly I don't know what that means but I do find this to be very much more beneficial than the others whenever I'm actually inside of gunfights um, controller vibrations ever since black ops 4 I've honestly been playing without controller vibrations I feel like controller vibrations helps you guys maintain better accuracy because maybe the little bit of rumble from the controller throws off your accuracy you know how how little you literally have to move your analog before not being able to hit an enemy so go ahead and turn off the, tr the controller vibrations see how it works out for you if you guys uh you know it might feel weird at the beginning i'm not gonna lie it might feel kind of foreign not having a vibration zone if you guys have actually been playing with it but honestly most high skilled players especially pro players play without the vibration zone so do go ahead and try that out um for gameplay 
target aim assist is said to enable because honestly the target aim assist is going to help you guys with getting on target way easier than whenever you guys don't have it on but as i did state in my previous video about how to um, improve your accuracy and control the recoil literally if you turn off aim assist and target assist and play against bots and get used to playing that way whenever you turn back on the target and aim assist it's literally gonna feel like you have an aim bot so go ahead and try that if you guys haven't already um my target aim assist mode is set to standard that pretty much this is the traditional way of aiming down sights you know it locks on target when people run near you so go ahead and try that out it's definitely helpful for people who are lower skilled or you know even whenever you're playing against high skilled players whenever somebody comes sliding past you or something like that it just makes it 10 times easier for you guys to actually be able to lock on target so moving on the ads aim assist is also enabled my airborne mantle is set to manual because i literally hate the auto mantle literally auto mantle is whenever you guys run up to an obstacle and then your character instantly starts to mantle a lot of times it gets me killed especially if i'm trying to use the obstacle for cover so go ahead and turn off the auto mantle and put it on on manual so you guys can actually be able to take cover instead of you know running up to obstacles now i can say sometimes it can be detrimental if you're trying to hurry up and get away from an enemy because auto mantle is literally going to instantly get you over the obstacle but it like i say helps for whenever you guys are actually trying to take cover so moving on the grounded mantle behavior is also on press that's pretty much just like i say auto mantle you literally have to press the jump button to, in order to be able to mantle the aim down sight behavior is uh, set to hold so literally if I want to aim down sight I literally just hold hold my button down and it's gonna stay aiming down um where was I even at oh okay that's what I, I went by, all the way back to the left. I wasn't paying attention. But pretty much, it's set to hold. So if I let it go, then it's not going to aim in. If I press it, then it's going to aim in. Honestly, it's best to keep it that way because in some situations where somebody might end up spawning behind you, if you have it set to toggle, then you literally have to press it twice to aim out and aim back in. And like I say, that can be very detrimental for actually um, getting shot in the back and you know trying to get faster paced kills. So go ahead and turn it on hold. Um, steady aim behavior is also set to hold. Armor behavior, I set it to all. Pretty much, if you guys like to run the body armor in this game, literally, if you have it set to all, it's going to put on all of your armor in one action, which will allow you guys to cancel the action and still have all of your um, body armor on. But if you have it set to apply one, then you have to literally put on every single body armor, which could potentially get you killed because it takes about three to five seconds to actually get all of those armor plates on. So moving on, the attack vehicle control mode is set to aim based. Like I say, my stick button, stick button layout and stick layout is all set to default. I don't mess with any of these other settings down here. Um, auto move forward is, is, is um, set to disable. Auto sprint is disabled. Sprint behavior is set to toggle. So I actually have to press down and hold the sprint instead of you know clicking it one time and automatically sprinting because like i say sometimes you may not want to continue the sprint so go ahead and set it to toggle um sprint council's reload is disabled which is going to allow you guys to run and reload your weapon at the same time um the parachute auto deploy this is mainly for stuff like um fire team dirty bomb which i honestly don't play much but go ahead and turn it on so you guys won't be face planting the ground when you jump out of the plane um equipment behavior is set to hold um interact reload behavior is set to tap the reload but if you guys want to actually if you plan stuff like fire team dirty bomb i i i would put on tap to interact because i mean you pretty much just tap it and then instantly go ahead and open up the chest whenever you guys are trying to interact but that right there is pretty much all of my controller settings for call of duty cold war i actually have a gameplay for you guys in the background as well if you guys are interested in that but with that being said man thanks you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace okay guys so for the purpose of this video i'm going to be trying to bring you guys a quick little gameplay um with the type 63 i actually have not brought you guys a best class setup for this weapon yet but you stay tuned because there is one coming soon um i actually ended up getting a triple nuke with this gun a few days ago Why is this? honestly do i want to play with the type 63 i don't even know I feel like this gun is best for like uh, objective based game modes and not kill com I mean kill confirm a team deathmatch.
Dude literally keeps freaking crouch walking around the whole map with an AK-47. If I actually played with this weapon, with more attachments, I would probably actually be able to freaking get way easier nukes with this weapon. Throwing C4. Yeah, there's another guy over here somewhere. In the smoke screen. I don't really want to push that. Not really too sure where this other guy is at. Maybe he's up here in this corner. Which he is. These dudes are just camping. Okay. Don't let him get up the stairs. Oh, this war machine is going crazy right now. I'm gonna fall back for a second. This guy's in the window, and I don't want that to backfire on me later. Now I know all these guys are behind me right now. All right, we on a nice little relentless metal. That was quick. He's down below. Actually, he's pushing. Where's my recoil management right there? Okay. I'm gonna play this one from a distance, honestly. Oh! That dude's hard scoping. Okay. Nice little 23. See if I can get behind these guys. 25 right there. There's still a guy in this garage, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he's still in this corner again. Why does that guy like sitting in the corner so much? Okay, that was pretty close, not gonna lie. This is sketchy. Okay, 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 we got the new guy actually, dang. Shotgun came in clutch right there. I thought I was dead, honestly. Okay, maybe I should start camping like the rest of these guys. <laughs> oh, there's another one here. Oh, man. This is usually not how I play it, but bro, I'm going crazy in this house with the shotgun. These guys literally keep challenging me. Okay. So yeah, as you guys can tell, this class setup is actually pretty good. Okay. I'm literally just going to keep chilling in this house, honestly. If these guys going to keep pushing like that. Okay, we got our war machine. Blow the guy up. I know there's going to be another one coming here soon. Okay, maybe not. Did my teammates get them off. Ooh, double kill in the window with the war machine. Okay. I knew that guy was there because he literally just destroyed the proximity mine that I hacked before. I'm going to put this in this corner over here actually and not in that one corner because I know that those guys are literally in the window over there. He's literally coming back to this window over here. In that corner. That was pretty- Oh! That was pretty close. Oh. Dang. There we got our heart. Let's go. Somehow this guy has farm protection. I don't even know how, honestly. I'm gonna try to get a long shot out for this guy. Try to get another long shot right here if I can. And my teammate actually blew him up. Got those dudes. Should have been a long shot right there. Yo, this freaking gallop goes freaking crazy, bro. Okay, I need to get from right here. These guys are going to be rushing in a second. Oh, he ended up taking me out. I wasn't paying too much attention there. The eventually, we uh, faded and they kind of caught me lacking. But it's all good, man. We already got the new. And we're about to secure this dub here in a second. And he's probably, prob I was going to say, he's probably still in this corner, but he's not. Oh, he is, actually. What the? 
these guys are just freaking got the building on lockdown but 57 and 4 I just wanted to bring you guys a quick little gameplay really fast for this settings video um honestly man like I was saying in yesterday's video these optics you put an optic on your gun and it's gonna be 10 times easier for you actually to it's gonna be 10 times easier for you guys to actually control the recoil but with that being said man thanks you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you guys did enjoy once again don't forget to drop a like and subscribe it's your boy blaze redemption and I'll see you guys in the next one Chaotic.